latest on the Malaysia plane that was shut shot down rather President Obama just visited the Dutch embassy in Northwest DC to sign that condolence book for the victims of Malaysia Airlines flight 17. Meanwhile pro Russian rebels have given international investigators access to the crash site finally and the bodies of the victims. Karen Travers has the latest. The remains of most of the victims of MH17 are one step closer to home. After a 17-hour journey, a train carrying bodies arrived today in a government-controlled city in eastern Ukraine. The Dutch prime minister said his government hopes to have the first bodies in the Netherlands on Wednesday. But he cautioned that identification of some of the victims could take weeks or even months. Ukraine agreed to send all of the remains to the Netherlands for identification and forensic investigation. And at the crash site, international investigators continue to comb through the wreckage. But the ABC News team on the scene found that large areas are still unguarded. Debris out in the open for anyone to walk or sift through. A spokesman for the international monitors there confirms to ABC News that the plane's wreckage has been significantly altered. Major pieces of the front of the plane appear to have been cut away. And yesterday, observers even saw people using power tools to cut into the wreckage. The rebels claim they had to move big pieces of debris in order to get to the bodies, but these developments have raised significant concerns among world leaders. After the crime comes the cover-up. Uh, what we have seen is evidence tampering on an industrial scale, and obviously that has to stop. Today, Britain announced that at the request of the Dutch government, British air investigators will take the lead in the analysis of MH17's black boxes. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington. And be sure to stay with ABC7 and WJLA.com for continuing coverage of the investigation into the shooting down of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17.